Welcome to another wonderful episode of Shep It Up. I'm your girl Les, sitting in for Ianthea, and I'm here today once again with the fabulous Garrett Bow. She's sous chef at Shima at Island House, and this time we are talking desserts. Ooh, yes. us Caribbean people, especially us here in the Bahamas, we love to get our sweet on, boy. I can tell you, I am a sweet tooth at heart. So what are we making this time, Garrett? Okay, so we're gonna start off with a bread pudding, and this is yes. not your mom's bread pudding that you've seen made growing up. We're gonna put a little twist on it and make it a little fun and funky. So nice. we're gonna add chocolate chips to it. Okay. And add hazelnuts Ooh, to it. Fancy. And once we're done with it, we're gonna garnish it with Bailey's whipped cream. Mm. And we're gonna make some salted caramel. All right. Our second dish we're gonna add to it is we're gonna make apple caramel trifle. Not truffles, trifle. Which is basically using some of the same components from our first dish. So we'll use the heavy cream, um, the whipped cream that we have. We'll use the salted caramel. We have fresh granola, and we're gonna cook out some apples. All right, well let's get cooking. Now I am your lowly servant. Oh yes. So let us begin. Okay, so we're gonna <laughs> dive into it. We're gonna do a lot today. All so right. the first thing we wanna start is our caramel sauce. Mm -hmm. This is gonna take a while. So okay. this is one cup of water. All right. We're adding. Mm -hmm. Are we adding any, um, what, which seasoning is this? This is just sugar. Just sugar, okay. So this is just water and sugar. All right, all right. And you don't wanna stir this at all because ah. the sugar will stick to the side and it's okay. gonna crystallize. Gotcha. And we don't want anything to crystallize. Mm -hmm. not, we don't want not a good thing. No, of caramel. course not. <laughs> we want it nice and smooth at the end of the day. And we'll just let that go. Okay. So you start off with our base, our custard base for the bread pudding and okay. I'll be cutting bread. So we have right. a, two cups of milk, two cups of heavy cream, two cups of sugar. We have eight eggs, which I know Laz is dreading, cracking eggs. Ooh. She's gonna be a proud of today. <laughs> and then you're just gonna put all those in that bowl and just whisk it together. Okay, here we go. So milk first. Yes. Then we've got the heavy cream. I know this is a favorite amongst some. And all of the sugar I'm using, correct? Yes, all okay. of the sugar. You're putting everything. About how much uh, sugar is this? It's two cups. Two so it's cups two cups of, of everything. So oh lord! Scrapes the sides off. Yeah. We want all the sugar, sugar in there. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I really like bread pudding. Bread pudding is um, one of my favorites. Which is funny because growing up, I hated bread pudding. Like yeah. Like younger, I loved it, and then I did the dreaded thing of watching my mom make it. Now, if you had Bahamian bread pudding, it's like this big bowl of gunk. Like, you don't know what it is. And I saw her make it, and it's like old bananas and yeah. stale bread. And I know, right? I used to watch my mom and grandmother as well. And just like you say, it's a little bit traumatic the first time Ugh. around. Because all you know is when you're tasting it, it just tastes so good. You don't know how it got like that, but when yeah. you see them and you're like, hold on, those bananas are old and mash up yeah. and, and, and they're black. They mm. don't even look like something that should be used Not to at cook all. with. But they make for great pies and what have you and bread puddings and, and the like. So yeah, I'm with you on that one. And since then, I just, I haven't eaten like Bahamian bread pudding. I, I don't think I can go back, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate, but I, I just can't do it. So now you've decided to come up with this recipe and you're sprucing it all up. Yes. All right. So I'm using, I'm gonna cut up some hazelnuts. Okay. And I love hazelnuts. I think it's an underrated nut. Mm-hmm. Uh, people <laughs> love peanuts and cashews and I just think hazelnuts are, it's where it's at. Yeah. But hazelnuts are really expensive, so I kind of get it. I actually enjoy um, raisins. I know a lot of people don't tend to like raisins in their pudding, believe it or not, but mm -hmm. I do enjoy raisins. So for me, I probably would have even added raisins to this. Would yeah. you, would, would that, is that something that you would suggest? Like, would that work though with the nuts as well? Absolutely, you can okay. add anything to your bread pudding. Like, Bahamian bread pudding, like my mom's- Make it what you Yeah, want. her secret ingredient in her bread pudding, I know she's gonna be upset, but <laughs> it's cornflakes. Mm. Like, she puts cornflakes ah. in 
in her bread pudding. Okay, and it's like, that's interesting. Y'all see this? Garrett letting out all the secrets. Oh, Shaw, Mama, don't be mad. Be it's so not her upset. fault. She's a sous chef. This is what she does. She's gonna be upset. So but she's letting out all the family mm -hmm. secrets. Okay. And you can add um, bananas. I love bananas in my yes, bread pudding. Yes. Yes. Well, bananas is my favorite fruit, actually. So, yeah. Oh Lord. Are we all together? Did you put any shells in it? You were so worried about it. I don't think I did. I haven't seen any shells floating to the top as yet, so. That's good. So <laughs> I think we're good. You have your yolks there, so what you want to do yeah. is just stop for a second yeah. and just break them. Break them up, okay. Yeah. And once you break them, then you can whisk. Gotcha. Because yeah, they're just sitting there floating, floating, floating. And I'm here trying to stir. All right, so I see that we've got um, these green apples. Mm -hmm. um, I happen to love Granny Smith apples. Yeah. So again, you know, when it comes to making the recipe your own, that's something I would probably do. I use the little ones and, you know, they're just sweeter to me. I just love, I prefer the taste. Yeah, I'm, I'm on and off with Granny Smith apples. Like sometimes I crave them and sometimes it's like sour, it's terrible. But they're best for cooking, especially desserts, because yeah. you add brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and the the, the sharpness of the apple really complements the sweetness of it. Mm -hmm. Do you mind passing me the chocolate chips? Sir? Sure. Thank you. Here we go. So we have a cup of chocolate chips. All right. Dark chocolate chips. I nice. think no chocolate is for wusses. <laughs> like, the real chocolate chips are... <laughs> Dark chocolate. So are you a big um, fan of nuts? Um, yes I am. Okay. I am a big fan of nuts. And so, what other kinds would you use? Um, like aside from? Cashews. Yeah. <laughs> we have like a little inside joke. You know what's so funny? She's here <laughs> laughing at that, right? I'm totally caught up in my mixture right now I'm that I'm, I, I just got it. I'll sorry. admit, I, I, I just got it. Yeah, okay. and, and our guys are having a field day. <laughs> but um, no, we're talking about cashews yes, and, and hazelnuts and almonds. Peanuts, yes. So yes. <laughs> My favorites are pistachios, <laughs> hazelnuts, and cashews. Okay, good stuff. So that looks like that's together. Yay, I did it, I did it. So we're gonna All pour right. this in here. And it's gonna get a little okay. messy. Yeah, I, I've uh, already had a little spillage on my hands, but you know, all in a day's work inside the kitchen. There we go. Oh, it looks good already. And I guess my hands Yay. are gonna be the one that gets dirty. I won't do that to your nails. All right. And I'm just incorporating everything. Okay. Now you can pass the vanilla, mm -hmm. and that's cinnamon and nutmeg mixed okay. together. Okay, about how much it. vanilla we all have here? All of it, you can pour all of that in there. I love all the right. smell of vanilla. And are we using all of the cinnamon no, as well? Just a pinch of it. Okay. I'll tell you when to stop. All right. Let me just. I like cinnamon, but nutmeg. I'm like on and off. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Um, nutmeg what about is something. Nutmeg? It's, nutmeg is like white pepper to me. If you can taste it, then you've added too much. Yeah, for sure. Cinnamon too. It could be a little yeah, bit overbearing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it could take over sometimes. So definitely, that's good. Yeah, you definitely good, have to be a little um, cautious there with the cinnamon. Now, are we going to use all of the sugar as well in here? Oh no, that's for a different okay, recipe. Okay, for something else. All right. So we'll let that sit for a minute, and as nice. you can see, our sugar is dissolved. Yes, it is. So and what are we going to add to this? We're going to add heavy cream to it. All right. We're going to add salt. And we want to get that as dark as possible. So that's going to turn into like a syrup. Okay. So we're still going to let it sit for a while yeah, before gonna, we do it's anything yet. Yeah, it's going to sit for a, a long, not long, but okay. only three, four minutes. Yeah. So could you get the cooking spray? All right. Here and then we're going to add our bread pudding in there. All right. And this is so quick and easy. Look at that. It's like we're done with the bread pudding. There we go. Good stuff. Yeah. I'm excited because, yeah, bread pudding, what I love about bread pudding is, to me, it's, it's the classic type of dessert. You know mm -hmm. how some desserts are usually associated with certain celebrations and certain times of the year, like Thanksgiving just went by, obviously pumpkin pie is a huge thing, um, but bread pudding is something, in my opinion, you can enjoy all year round. Yes, it absolutely. doesn't matter what time of year it is, it doesn't matter what occasion, just, you know, get you some good old bread pudding. So I love that. All right. And this is ready. This is going straight in the oven. All yes. right. Let me get that for you. Thank you. 
Let's switch sides here. Sure. <laughs> All right, look at that. That looks awesome. Wow, that looks amazing. Okay, so we have so much more coming up right here on Chef It Up. We've got to take a quick break, but don't you go anywhere. We'll see you after this. We're back with Chef It Up and we're making some really good stuff here to satisfy that sweet tooth. Some bread pudding, a little salted caramel yes. sauce. Yeah. yeah. And trifle, not truffle. Yes, trifles. <laughs> so what's our next step? So while, while our caramel is still cooking, I'm gonna have you cut up the granola. For okay. Caramel apple trifles. Okay. And I'm gonna cut up some apples here. All right. And then we'll cook those down. Good stuff. Okay. It's a little difficult to cut. It's a little hard. Yeah. We got a little it. hard. Crunchy. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had to cut up granola before. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like granola, but this dish, the granola adds a bit of crunch to it. Mm -hmm. Because the, once the apples are cooked, they get really soft. Right. And, and this, is, soft. this is for the sauce. The it's for the trifle. For the trifle. Okay. Yeah, so the granola is going in the trifle. All right. And what else are we doing with the trifle? So the trifle is basically whipped cream. So we're going to add a little bit of um, cream liqueur to. Mm -hmm. And caramel apple. We cook the apples down with brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and butter. And it'll be a layer of granola. Okay. Caramel sauce. And then repeat. All right. So it's like this sweet, it's almost like carnival days, going to the carnival, you're eating caramel apple. Yeah. That kind of a whipped cream on top. Basically. So. Okay, so yes, we've got this all caught up now. And as you said, this is gonna go with the trifles. So yeah. with these apples, um, do you ever find that like any particular apple, I don't know, does a better job than another type? Um, definitely the Granny Smith. It, it's sturdier or red delicious. You wanna find firm apples. Okay. Anything that's too soft, Right. once you cook it down, it'll be like mush. Ah. And that's what you're trying to avoid. Okay. So trying to speed this process along because our apples are starting to oxidize. Right. Really quickly. Okay. So we're going to add what now to these apples? Brown sugar. All right. That's about a cup or so? This is a six ounces of brown sugar. Okay. Cinnamon, three ounces. Okay. And I'm just gonna toss that in there. All right. Now I know that we have some whipped cream over here. There's something yes. you want me to do with this. You can take that out the bowl. Okay. And you can put it right in the clear bowl on the side of your station. Okay. So I'm just gonna add a little butter into the pan. I can't cut this off. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. <laughs> you can actually use a spatula and just take it out if you like, or a spoon. I thought it would have been simpler to just. Yeah, it's a little stiff. Pour it out. Okay. So I'm gonna add my apples. And we're gonna cook them. So I understand that you have a sister who's also involved with food, but in a different way. Yes, my oldest sister is a registered dietitian. Mm -hmm. She works in the hospital in Freeport. Okay. And we don't see quite eye to eye with food. She's all about healthy, what I shouldn't be cooking, what I should cook. Right. So I try to make my visits to Freeport really short. <laughs> and Freeport being, of course, where you're from. Let's talk about yes. that. I, I love Freeport. I think I think Freeport, Grand Bahamas get a little bad rap in Nassau. <laughs> it's always this Freeport against Nassau thing. Yeah. Which I think is slightly unfair. It's like a lot of prejudgment. On and both what sides. was what was you know, what was it like growing up in your home in terms of cooking? I mean, did you see your mom and your grandmother cook all the time and you just knew that it was something you wanted to do eventually? Like, did you help them a lot with, with the cooking? Um, I actually did. I helped them a lot, um, not by choice, <laughs> um, based on... Because they were like, come here, Garrett. Yeah. Come and cook now. Like every Sunday morning, my mom, because there's four of us growing up, and she'd mm -hmm. just call us in order. Jana, Greg, 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 come downstairs. Like, oh, gosh. So the best part of being in a big family is if you don't go, someone else will. Right. So kind of make up for it. Yeah. So I didn't get called all the time. But I fell in love with it, eating it more than anything. Mm-hmm. 
and then as the time goes, like I call her now, I was like, hey, how do you make your mac and cheese? And she's like, should have been paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> and now look at you, sous chef at Shima yeah. at Island House. So I think this is ready, ready to go. Gonna, it's got that it's nice good. brown um, color that you talked about mm -hmm. that we needed it to be. So this is gonna get a little bubbly and a little okay. steamy. Okay. So. Well, I can say the flavors in here, it definitely smells like home. You know, it reminds you of waking up on a Christmas morning and smelling all the flavors of good cooking. Cinnamon in the air, the vanilla in the air. Apples. Apples, it's, it's just delicious. Okay, so this is gonna be a little steamy. Okay. So I'll stir all right. and I'll let you pour. Okay. So this is heavy cream, and you All want right. to pour about half of that in there. Okay. Here we go. Heavy cream going in. Ooh. And you good. can just hear that. Do you think that's enough? Keep going. Okay. You need a little bit more. Yeah. Perfect. They don't call it heavy cream for nothing. That's Perfect. for sure. All right. Look at that. Wow. Some caramel sauce. Yeah. That looks amazing. I'm sure it tastes the same way too. And this is done, so we just want to put this aside. Okay. And just let this cool. Right. Our apples are done as well. Okay. So we're going to take it off the stove mm -hmm. and just let that cool as well. Okay, so we've got our whipped cream now. So for our whipped cream, we're just going to add a little bit of Irish cream to it. All right. For some flavor. It's nothing like Irish cream. And I'm sure it. with that, you know, you season to taste. <laughs> um, you can be generous. Sometimes you need a little spruce right pick up your day but not too much and why not in dessert yeah i don't imagine though that you'd want that to be the only thing you taste sometimes people do that in desserts you know you have a rum cake and literally all you can taste is, is rum. rum yeah and nothing at all no cake just rum and the cake almost tastes like pudding because mm -hmm. it's so wet yeah with rum so this is what we're using for our trifle yes correct i'm gonna put this on top of our Okay. Bread pudding as well is a nice garnish. Nice. We're stirring in the Irish cream to our whipped cream. Good, love it, love it. So yes, we are well on our way. We've got our homemade whipped cream with liqueur. Mixing that down. Our granola bars are already chopped up. Our apples are ready to go. And I can smell the delicious aroma of the bread yes, pudding in the oven. It. So we're gonna take a, a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to put the final touches on this delectable dessert. Don't go anywhere. How is it? Mmm. It tastes like I am ready to put this all together. We are back with chefing it up. The lovely Garrett Bow here with me. And we've got bread pudding in the oven. Mm -hmm. We made homemade whipped cream, y'all, and a salted caramel sauce that we're about to put it all together. Put it all together. So yes, let's do this. So we'll start assembling. So okay. for our trifles, I'll get less to start putting granola in it. Okay. So you can put granola to about there in each of them. Okay. And I'll follow you with the apples. <laughs> all right. Be generous. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. She said generous, so let's go. A little bit more than that, you think? Yeah, and then do the same for the next okay. one. Okay, all right. And you'll put your apples. So this is really just layers of granola, apple, whipped cream, granola. Caramel. Right. Oh, how can I forget the sauce? What am I thinking? <laughs> okay. And we also added a little something to the sauce as well, right? Yes, we added a little bit of vanilla mm -hmm. and salt. All right, how much vanilla did we have so for I that? So I added three ounces of vanilla. Okay. And one teaspoon of salt. Okay. So you can go ahead with the granola again. Okay. I'll just follow up. So the when do we put switch. in the whipped cream? We'll put it on at the end. Does I go in last? Yeah, we want to do it all. Oh. And it's okay, we want to get goo all over I thought the... it was going to be all, you know, in between. Well, the so. whipped cream, this is still a bit warm. And we don't all want right. our whipped cream to just melt to the bottom. Okay, good to know. And it's going to be gooey. And it's yeah. okay with gooeyness. I see that. Nice and gooey, just how you like it. All right. It looks delicious. I can't wait to taste it. I really can't. A little more granola on the top of that. What would your sister say now? 
to all of this. I'm not allowed to cook this in my house. Definitely not. <laughs> it's too much sugar, too much cream. It's just, she won't have it But all. it tastes so good. How can you resist, you know? It's the, the perfect dessert, I think, especially for this time of year. Definitely. You can add a bit more um, granola. granola to the top. I'm not being generous enough with no. the granola. Okay, uh, I'm caramel. sorry. It's got a little all thick. Right. And that's yeah. how we want it. Okay. And then I'm nice. going to add the whipped cream to the top. And finally... It's a little loose because of the liquor, but yeah, it's fine. I'm topping it all off. I got you. So now this is all going to seep to the bottom. Okay, okay. okay and it's it melts making sense. down. You see how it right. just drops? If we had put that in between, like she said, it would have made it that much more messy and gooey. But this is, yes, this is the creme and can de see la this creme. One melts all Look the way down and it fills in the empty spot. Lovely. So it's just picture perfect. Yes. All by itself. All right. Well, I'm ready to taste this uh, bread pudding. Okay, we so can let's, get it out there. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's do this. Get this out of the oven. Put that there. All right. Doesn't that look fabulous? Ladies and gentlemen. You can see the chocolate on the top. The hazelnuts, everything's mm -hmm. right there. Very nice, very nice. So can I give it a cut? It's a bit, oh, and it's perfect. Yeah. It's I can light. tell it's soft and light just looking at it. I can tell it's moist already. So we're gonna take our bread pudding out, and it's still a bit gooey, but that's how we want it. Mm-hmm. Look at that. And just it's hot, like it. it's steamy. Nice. A little on a spoon now. And I'm sure this we're going to use a little bit more of this whipped cream, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to put some yeah. on top. We're not going to let anything waste. Nothing wastes mm -hmm. here. <laughs> All right. And it's going to just turn like ice cream because it's really, really hot mm -hmm. right now. Lovely. Lovely. So now you can try it. It's yeah. time for you to dig in, Les. Just get these out of your way. Where to begin? Where to begin? All right, here we go. So what do you think? Oh my God. It is so good. <laughs> I must say, at first, I was a little skeptical when you said salted caramel, but the salt really isn't overwhelming. In fact, none of the flavors are overwhelming to the point where it's too sweet or too anything. It's a great combination of the caramel. I taste the apples in there, the granola. Love the, the touch of the homemade whipped cream. It's it's just delightful. And it, it's a really good dish because the granola gives it crunch, the apples a sweetness, mm -hmm. the whipped cream is a bit softness, and then you have the caramel that adds saltiness to the dish, yeah. which is basically all the flavors you want in one single dish. Yeah, so, love it. Okay, now. Bread pudding time. Mm -hmm. Bread pudding time. Are you gonna give me a drum roll, chef? <laughs> the bread pudding, which happens to be one of my most favorite desserts. So? Mmm, oh my god. <laughs> this, mm, this, I can't stop with food in my mouth, right? This is really good. It's I think not... anyone that loves chocolate mm -hmm. would truly appreciate this dish because I really taste the chocolate in it. Again, it's it's not, you know, overbearing. Mm -hmm. um, let me see if I can get some of the nuts in here. Because I know some people out there, they love their hazelnuts and almonds. Mmm. Excellent. And the Good best part time. about this, this dish is the, the custard is not too heavy. So it's like light, it's fluffy. Mm -hmm. It's not dropping straight to the bottom of your stomach. Exactly. And for anyone that loves chocolate, like, I suggest you put more chocolate in it. I love chocolate. It's yeah. not enough chocolate, but you yeah. have to keep it mild for less today. But it's a great way to amp up your bread pudding. Mm -hmm. Again, one like me, I love raisins, so I would have added raisins. I would have had bananas in this. I know some people that even make it like fruit cake these days oh. and add different. Well, I'm just saying, I've seen it. Yeah. Listen, you, the wonders that you can do with bread pudding, it's, it's endless, but. This is Chef Garrett's version. A great mix of the chocolate and the hazelnut. The, the whipped cream on top truly is, is like ice cream, just like she said. It all came together so well. Oh, 
I'm almost stuffed already, but you know what? I gotta finish eating the rest you of it so I can truly it. get stuffed. It's good. <laughs> it's so it. good. I really, really enjoy it. And thank you so much, Chef. You've, um, I gotta say, outdone yourself with this one. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm it's been a today. pleasure. Yes. We've had a good time. Yes, definitely. All right. Well, this has been Chef It Up. I'm Les. We will see you next time when we tantalize your taste buds once again. <laughs>